being one of the first blacks to walk into the NFL, being the first black to be a MLB owner. I mean, to bring about change. If you're talking about something that I feel like I did myself, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to beat Oculus. I had a group of guys from um, a group in Inglewood that claimed to be Bloods to sit down with a group from Los Angeles, Slauson and Crenshaw, they claimed to be Crips. And from February of 2022 to present day, there has been no shootings and no killings between those two groups. We, we left a lot of marks on very important parts of the city. You know, we brought in the first grocery store to, to downtown Los Angeles. I started my foundation, the Evelyn Goria Foundation, here in Los Angeles. I'd like to think we, we have an impact, which is making sure we, as Latinos, reach our full potential. Expanding access to overdose prevention education and naloxone, which is a medication that reverses overdoses. The work that I did first at St. Joseph Center, when we housed over 200 people off of Venice Beach, when I returned to the city of Inglewood, we were headed to be in bankruptcy within nine months of my return. We've turned that all around. Our property values have tripled. Our families now have generational wealth. More than equality, we have equity in Inglewood. Create the Array Creative Campus that's dedicated to the narrative arts. Extend the Bionic Creek bike path. Push for us, for the ACLU, and to put out a report about the treatment of people with mental illness in the criminal justice system. A lot of times people say, like, your impact has to be huge and big. No, it's just showing up each and every day, being consistent and doing things that people didn't think were possible. And so for me, that's playing in the WNBA, a league that has really championed others and continues to do the work, the necessary work. 